And so I was asked to talk about uh, my experiences of night when he first came and he met a very big Berkeley and landed in a very sedate Lewis. Uh, probably the students were similar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so these are such students that you can see from the building. Uh, and I have always been really grateful to Mike because he persuaded me to stop doing that and to start doing that, which is much more fun because you're in the outside world and you can translate behavior pretty uh, easily in the what's happening. Uh, so we worked on hoverflies, uh, and one hoverfly that we worked on was Aristavus Tinex. And if you go into many uh, woods or paths or anywhere, you can see these things hanging in the air. And every now and then, they make a dart at what they hope will be an eight. And it very rarely is a mate, so then they come back to the same place. Okay. Uh, this is a kind of chase that they do. So there it starts, and then it goes very fast, then it gives back up, it gives up and comes back, and it goes very slowly. Uh, so one thing we wondered about was. How it get back to the same place. Uh, so we found that. So here's a whole bunch of these chases, and these are the hovering points here. And this is the length of the excursion there. And there's no relationship between the length of the excursion and how accurate they are coming back to the same place. So that made us wonder. Well, there's some visual information that they might be picking up around the, their home inside. And we tested that by using a large board that we placed relatively close to where these flies were found. And then we moved the board away. And if you look at this, you can see the trajectory. Uh, so the board is moved during this part of the trajectory. Then it goes away and does a useless chase. And then it comes back. And the position relative to the board that it chooses then is as a similar distance to uh, the position when the board was here. So this shows it more clearly. You can see that that distance is more or less the same. So we suppose that what happens is that they have learnt the size of this board and then they fly back until the image of the board so obtains the same angle that it did when they left. And obviously, there are many experiments that you could do to test this more uh, finally, but that's as far as we've got. So, the next question we had with flies, with, with Aristelius, was about their, the chase itself. How does it control its pursuit of potential mate? And for that, we used pea shooters. So <laughs> the target is a pea shot from a, a pea shooter. And here you can see what the fly is doing. So it's not trying to trap because it's going beyond. It's doing I mean, what one might call an interception force. And this would be if you simulated a Tracking course, and they're very different. We could get some experimental evidence for this supposition by putting 
a key at the end of the length of column. And then when the key was shot close to the fly, uh, the key stops here, and one is where the fly starts its interception course. And of this region, there's no visual information at all, and it doesn't start to miss the lack of visual integration until right there. Uh, so that seems to be reasonable evidence that it, 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 it does plan an interception course. Uh, okay, so uh, we then looked at a, a different problem we had, serifications, and we made a sort of ecosystem in a, in a transparent box where there were flowers and there were flies and they lived happily in there and <laughs> life just went on. And <laughs> it was nice that we could record what they did in this uninterrupted situation. And I thought they did it quite interesting. Uh, so this is uh, an example of a hoverfly just flying around. And what is really nice is if you look at this bit of the trajectory, you can see that it maintains the same orientation. It can move sideways, forwards, and in fact, it can move backwards. And that means that the world itself is stationary on its retina and we can easily pick up any small target that there is. Uh, so hoverflies gain a lot from this precision kind of sideways, backwards, forwards, upside down flight. Uh, and Mike then went on to look at the, at the eye and she found that the male eyes are very much better at seeing them than our females. Uh, and you can see that here. So, so 10 degrees on a male just is a fat piece of retina, whereas 10 degrees on a female is a fat piece of retina. And they make the, the males make good use of this uh, additional security uh, when they interact with females. So uh, here's a male approaching a daisy when it wants to feed, and you can see that it is decelerates uh, and then lands on the flower and then feeds. But if it spots a female, then it, it does the reverse. So here it's accelerating, and its vision is good enough that it can land head to head and tail to tail. And while this male was uh, after a mate, this male was just looking on. Uh, well, we had a, a lot of fun doing this for about five years or so. And then <coughs> We stopped and might go back to rockets and burn by which to, to other animals. Uh, days were very relaxed. Uh, Mike thought that four o'clock was the right time to stop doing science and that he could go home and do the other things that he really liked to do. And university life was not stressful. But <laughs> academics, a lot of administrators said what, what one should do. Uh, but then it was bad. So, this is the university of Edinburgh. It's a difficult year for naturally, long term for natural planning by the government, delayed again, especially now that conservatives in power who are cutting real term around 3% of the budget is envisaged. University is working with the unknown with regard to future government plans, very cheap. And a year or so later, Sussex Research Trucks 
scrap the cash, but they asked people to take unpaid leave of absence. And my work went to Canberra, where he met lots of other visual scientists, uh, like Simon and that Eric, who were wearing the device that gave him even better vision. <laughs> <laughs> So there's lots of time for other comments, but I'll look at